I think it's a great time to be studying criminology. If you think about the world as a social science laboratory, if you think about you know, the problems with police legitimacy, the problems with mass incarceration and race, all those um, issues right, need solutions, they need analysis and input. The teaching staff at Lancaster and the law school is very approachable. The really, really great thing about the postgraduate here is that it opens so many doors and you can really go into anything with the Criminology and Criminal Justice MA. I'm Luca Fallis. I'm senior lecturer in law and society in the law school, and I'm also the director of the Criminology Master's program. So I brought um, a recent uh, book, which I wrote. Um, we did a whole bunch of field work, and then we brought that back into the classroom, and I think it really exemplifies research-led teaching. My name is Helena Skottnes Gustafsson, and I'm on the LLM in Criminology and Criminal Justice at Lancaster. Today I brought um, a jumper I've knitted myself during this LLM. When you're knitting, you focus on details, and that also works well with studying criminology. My name is Lou Fisher, and I'm studying Criminology and Criminal Justice MA. The object that I brought with me today is a squash ball, and it signifies a lot to me. It signifies what I love to do outside of my academics, but it also is a, a really good stress ball when the academics get too tough. I think one of the best things about the master's program at Lancaster is that we have a range of masters. We have two MSc programs which are injecting some key uh, social science research skills um, that are transferable um, beyond the um, just the criminal justice, let's say, workspace. And then we have uh, a master's program which is um, more topically informed and it's really about you know exploring that passionate subject-based interest in criminology. Finally we have an LLM uh, and that LLM is tailored towards those that perhaps want to uh, continue pursuing some kind of legal profession. I chose to study this course because it combines both criminology and law and that's not an opportunity back in Norway. So being able to look at societal issues and criminal justice issues, both from a legal and a criminologist viewpoint, is important to me to get a bigger context. The two things that I'm currently focusing on is an international terrorism module and a gender and violence module. Within the gender and violence module, I'm specifically writing a paper about the stereotypes that kind of coexist and the social constructions that are around those uh, stereotypes. You really are able to kind of create whatever kind of question you'd like. We're able to choose our research questions. I chose to study pre-trial uh, solitary confinement in Scandinavia. The essay and your assessment is basically your own research. The law school has an amazing uh, set of support structures for both undergraduate and postgraduate students. As a master's student, you have um, an academic advisor. Um, we also have a postgraduate tutor system, uh, writing workshops, which basically help students um, improve uh, their, their written work. Our students are um, wide ranging, really. Um, so we have students that are domestic, but then we also have a number of international students. Some of these are mid-career professionals, so there are organizations um, might um, sponsor them. We also have non-traditional students that explore uh, the topic in a postgraduate degree. Many of my colleagues um, uh, are working at the forefront of their fields, but also they're all researchers, they're um, all active, and in general, we're just very, very open. We have an open door policy, so I think the support structures are great. I'm actually lucky enough that I already have a job waiting for me. I'm going to be a legal advisor at the Criminal Injuries Compensation Authority in the Norwegian government. In terms of careers, I think there are the traditional criminal justice employment opportunities, whether it be probation or the prison service or police, but then there are also charities and different kinds of um, support organizations for, say, ex-prisoners or for victims. And then there's, you know, working for government and other um, capacities that are not necessarily justice related. So you might think of the civil service or, um, uh, or some other sort of support organization. So I do think the course has massively enhanced my employability. Specifically, um, the, the dissertation period is gonna give me some really, really good tips and tricks into potential research jobs that I'm going to be looking at in the future.